So hello and welcome to day six of Jane Austen week. We are nearing the end and today I'm going to be talking about my second favourite Jane Austen novel which is Mansfield Park. Now I've had an interesting journey with Mansfield Park because the first time I read it when I was about 14 I didn't like it. I found it boring and dull. Maybe I was too young, I don't know, but then when I got to university in first year I studied it and suddenly I looked at it differently and I liked it and then I reread it and then I really liked it and I thought it was amazing and then I also reread it again last year and agreed it's just so amazing I think it's brilliant but I think it's one of those books that because on the surface it's a kind of quieter novel than some of her other books Fanny as a heroine she's not as kind of gregarious she's not as witty she's not as funny she's not as loud she's very quiet very introverted a lot of the book is quite internal and inside her head or kind of her listening to the other characters but even though she's like the heroine and the central character you don't always get to see her doing much but I think it's brilliant I think it's wonderful it just took me a little while to realize so if you've read Mansell Park and you didn't like it please 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 reread it because it is definitely worth a reread so Mansell Park follows a character called Fanny Price Fanny Price is the daughter of a woman who married a little bit beneath her them as a family they kind of fell on hard times this wasn't helped by the fact that she has an awful lot of children one of which is Fanny her, one of her sisters Lady Bertram has done a lot better off for herself and is married to Sir Thomas Bertram who is very rich owns this massive place called Mansell Park and also owns several plantations overseas in the Americas so Sir Thomas and Lady Bertram along with the influence of the other sister Mrs Norris decide that they will adopt one of Frances Price's children they decide to adopt a little daughter Fanny Fanny at the age of 10 goes to stay with the Bertrams and is brought up by them the majority of the book focuses on her from the age of about 16 17 18 onwards and that period of her life Sir Thomas and Lady Bertram have four children Tom the eldest who is a bit wild and likes his gambling and his drink they have Edmund Bertram who is much more calmer controlled wants to be a clergyman and gets on very well with Fanny they are friends from a very young age and she looks up to him in like everything she does there are also two daughters Mariah Bertram and Julia Bertram both of whom are a bit giddy they kind of look down on Fanny and they are kind of out for love and money and whatever they can get early on in the book Mariah Bertram becomes engaged to a man called Mr Rushworth who lives nearby Mr Rushworth has a lot of money but not much sense and Mariah doesn't appear to be very fond of anything about him apart from his grounds and his money fairly near the start of the book as well and where the story really takes off a brother and sister come to visit a local parish where their half-sister lives this brother and sister Mary Crawford and Henry Crawford are an interesting pair of young people that the whole lot at Mansfield Park are a bit besotted with with the exception of Fanny Edmund falls in love with Mary Crawford despite the fact that he is very sensible just wants a quiet life being a clergyman and she wants like like the high life and is a bit more vain and selfish and sometimes says things that he deems inappropriate but he still loves her and thinks that he could kind of make her better then there is Henry Crawford who both Julia and Mariah Bertram fall in love with despite the fact that Mariah Bertram is already engaged and he he enjoys this he's not desperately in love with either of them but he he likes to flirt does Henry Crawford and he enjoys the attentions of both of them even though it makes Mr Rushworth very uncomfortable and is obviously not very seemly for Mariah to be desperate flirting with this man Henry Crawford even though she's engaged to someone else so that's the basic setup of the book various things happen in that Mariah does eventually get married to Mr Rushworth and after that Henry Crawford decides that he is going to make Fanny Price fall in love with him just for like a scheme just for some fun and accidentally falls in love with her himself however Fanny Price is not very happy about this because all her life she has been desperately in love with Edmund this is very clear from the very very beginning it is very much like a one of those novels that you can understand what, where all the rom-coms came from from where there are like two friends and one is in love with the other yeah you can really see that Fanny is desperately in love with Edmund he just used her as a friend and as a cousin there are so many things I love about Mansfield Park that I'm not entirely certain where to start I think one of the things I really like is the character of Fanny Price she's a very interesting character like I said she's much more internal than some of Jane Austen's other characters she thinks a lot she doesn't say very much at all she is very very quiet but she has very strong moral principles I know a lot of people think she's a bit shy and pathetic and weak I've heard a lot of people that don't like Fanny Price as a character but I think she's very aware of like morality and, uh, and her own moral convictions she has a very strong sense of right and wrong also you completely understand why at times she is as weak as she is in terms of both physically weak and also weak in terms of standing up to people she has all her life been effectively downtrodden by the rest of the family the only one of the family who really seems to care about her is Edmund also 
also Lady Bertram does seem quite fond of her but everyone else especially Julia and Mariah and especially more than anyone Mrs Norris treat her like she is a servant because she isn't of as quite high birth as the rest of them and they treat her really badly especially Mrs Norris is just atrocious atrocious to Fanny in such a horrible way that is really infuriating to read. Mrs Norris is very funny she's a very well done nasty character but although at times the things she does and says and the kind of hypocrisies within her are very funny it's also really heartbreaking because she is so nasty to Fanny she's just so nasty. Another thing I really love about Mantle Park are the Crawfords I think Mary Crawford and Henry Crawford are both brilliant characters and Henry Crawford I love. I have spoken about him many times before um, on this channel because I just think he's a wonderful wonderful character and he's very complicated and interesting and he's one of those characters that he's not good but you know he could be good if only he would try like a tiny bit harder and so I find like I'm not that fond of Edmund Bertram as a character that is the truth of it and when I read Mansfield Park especially the more and more I reread it I am rooting for Henry Crawford not for Edmund Bertram I want Fanny to turn around and fall in love with Henry Crawford and I know she's not going to I know but I still want it to happen because I think he's a brilliant character and I think he's done very well and I kind of wonder if Jane Austen likes him a bit too because he is presented very sympathetically I think more sympathetically than like Willoughby or especially more than Wickham in terms of other characters who go on to do slightly scandalous things later or our flirts etc and he's the first one to really realize how much Fanny Price is worth and how kind of good she is and I like that that's nice yeah I like Henry Crawford he's one of the reasons why I love Mansfield Park I think Mansfield Park as well just has a lot a lot of depth there is a lot of social commentary in there there is a lot of kind of what is right and wrong the moral standards of the time the young people in Mansfield Park decide to put on a play while Sir Thomas is away and this kind of amateur dramatics is actually considered quite immoral at the time. The way that Mansell Park deals with issues of morality and of social codes and what is kind of socially acceptable to do and what is not is really really fascinating like historically I think it is one of the most interesting of Jane Austen novels not necessarily the one that ages best because now we look at young people doing amateur dramatics and we're like well why is that a problem that's fine they're just acting it's it's okay but at the time that was a much bigger deal and I think that aspect of Mansell Park is something I really love and I find really interesting when I read it I think also the way it deals with issues of class and the kind of difference between the way family has been brought up and the way everyone else has been brought up and the way that Mrs Norris treats her because she has a slightly different class background is really really interesting and really well done. It also really helps explore something Jane Austen explores a lot in her novels, the idea of people who are not rich or poor, the people kind of stranded in between with quite not really any particular social class to put themselves in because Fanny she you know she doesn't belong with the servants she's above the servants but she's below the family and she's kind of in a sort of limbo throughout a lot of the book in terms of her class place and her class position and Jane Austen explores that in a really interesting way. I just think Mansell Park is a fascinating novel and it is underrated because people sometimes think it's boring but I think it's really interesting and it's done really well and I just like it anyway. Now I don't actually have a TV or film adaptation to talk to you about with regards to Mansfield Park because although I have seen quite a few Mansfield Park adaptations I have never seen one that I've liked. Interestingly my favourite three Jane Austen TV adaptations were the three I spoke about on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday so adaptations of my least favourite Jane Austen novels but I like the adaptations more. I think for me the more I love a book the harsher I am on the adaptations and also if I think a book is really perfect then I know an adaptation is just not going to quite live up to it and for Mansfield Park especially I just don't think it works on film or TV because Fanny Price is so quiet and so internal that it just doesn't quite translate to film in the right way and most films I've seen of it or TV adaptations either they change Fanny Price's personality so much that she is nothing like Fanny and it's a terrible adaptation of the book and it's really like unfair to a really interesting character to make her really loud and witty and basic make her Lizzie Bennet. She's absolutely not Lizzie Bennet that misses the whole point of the book or the other thing they do is they follow the book exactly and then it's just kind of boring because you can't see in Fanny's head so it's just her listening to people. So it just doesn't work on TV or film I don't think but in a book form it's a brilliant story please read it please do. I think that's enough discussion of Mansfield Park for now. Tomorrow I'll be back talking about my favourite Jane Austen novel you've probably guessed by now what it is won't be a surprise to anyone sorry about that pretty obvious really I haven't really picked anything that's very controversial for my favourite Jane Austen novel I'm sorry but anyway let me know down in the comments if you have read Mansfield Park and what you thought of it and I'll be back tomorrow with the final day of Jane Austen week goodbye